What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to tag your tracks using pre-made tags. I'm also going to show you how to create your own tags and how to delete tags and then also how to sort by your tags. So the first thing you need to do is go to the my tag configuration window and that's over here on the right. And it looks like this little tag and you just click it and it brings up this panel right here of all these tags that Recordbox already made for you. And then they made it in different categories for you guys. So we have the genre category and then the components category, which is like what elements are in your song, whether it be a synth or a vocal or a percussion or whatever. And then the situation in which you would play your song. So where would you play it? Would you play it in the morning? <laughs> would you play it on the main floor? Would you play it to build up your set or to wind down your set? And then this last category down here is the untitled column and that's where you can fit other tags that don't fit in any of these categories. So it just helps you organize your tags a bit more. So first the way you tag a song is you click on a song. So let's minimize this for a second and we're gonna get rid of genre. Genre where are you? Okay so we're gonna select my tags which is right here. And now this shows the tags and I'm just going to put it over here so you can see it a bit easier. So it's right here and we're going to open this up. So now to add a tag, you just select a song. So I'm going to select this song and I'm going to add a tag to it. So I'm going to call it Electro House because it's Electro House and it has a synth in it and it has a vocal and it's definitely peak time. So now you can see that these tags showed up in the My Tag section. So now what if you wanna create your own tags? Well, first of all, I notice in here, they don't have drum and bass and that makes me sad. So I'm gonna add drum and bass. So I just click the plus sign and type in drum and bass. They also don't have dubstep. or jazz. <laughs> I love jazz. A lot of people don't know that about me. Okay, so we've just added a few more tags right there. Uh, and I'm going to go into my DMB folder for heavy artillery. And I'm going to select this song and hit drum and bass. Okay, so now what else can I add? I can add different components. So say you have a lot of brass in your song, like trumpets and stuff like that. So we can add that. And then the situation. Situation, okay. So one thing that's not in here that we could add is fashion show. If you play a lot of fashion shows. Or what if you like to battle? You can make one for DJ battle. Or for me, how about lessons? So there, and then here in this category, we could add maybe like favorites. So for this, I'm gonna add it to favorites and maybe I could use it in a DJ battle. It's definitely main floor, peak time. And it's got bass. <laughs> and percussion. So you can just, you know, add tags to your songs however you want. So let's add a few more really quick. Okay, so now that we've added tags to our songs, now we can sort by them as well or filter them. So let's get out of here. And we click this toggle right here. Now, I'm gonna do it in the main collection folder, that way it shows everything. And I'm gonna click this, and now it brings up all the tags that are available. Now, the ones that don't have a gray box around them, that means that I haven't added them to any tracks. So they aren't applied to any of the tracks in my library. So the ones with the gray box around it, that has been applied to a track in my library. 
So I can filter all the bass music that I've applied to different tracks. And I have way more bass music in this library, but only two tracks have that applied. Um, and then I could also do by Electro House. So now this track has Electro House on it and bass music, and that's why it's filtered it down even more. So it helps you narrow down your search. So all these tracks have synth applied to it. And if I click main floor, now it reduces it. And let's click drum and bass, one track. So it really helps you speed up your search in terms of filtering things if you like to search that way. So it's really helpful. Now the last thing I want to show you is how to delete a tag. So you just click here and say, okay, I don't really have new disco in my library, so I'm just gonna delete that. And then there you go. You just right click or control click to delete it. And then, oh wait, maybe I do. So I'm gonna add it back in. You know, super easy. So that's the basics of tagging in Rekordbox. If you wanna learn more, check out the next video.